not only the performance, but I love seeing on the internet the next day as so many people had the moment of you smashing the computer. I know. Which took over. I, I actually was obsessed with it. I was gonna say, what was your reaction? Was it like a meme thing? Yes, but in a great I love way. That. No, in I love a great that. way. I love that. That's so, I didn't even think about that. What's up, friends? It's your girl, Emily Curl, and we're backstage at our iHeartRadio Music Festival here in Las Vegas with my girl, Camila Cabello. Yay. Give it up for Camila backstage. Yay. Thank you, guys. I'm so happy to see you. Last time I saw you was in New York. We were talking about the new album, the new music. And you're just adorable and the best. Oh, my God. Get out of here. I love it. That was I love a fun interview. You. It was a fun interview. Yeah, and I feel like it was so... So cool to get to know you in that way. And then also, again, to be in Vegas and to see you on the stage. I have to tell you, when we were walking in, I got to see some of your sound check. <gasps> Watching you on the stage is just magic. It's Thank so you. natural. That's really nice. It's so fun to watch you perform. And so I'm so curious, like, in your mind, like, are, are you, like, what's going, what's going in your head? Are you like, okay, I have to hit my cues? Or are you just fully free and enjoying it? What if there's, I mean, there's obviously, like, a million thoughts, and they're changing by the second. Um, and it also depends what mood I'm in. Like if I'm if I'm like Ooh. in a great mood, if I'm in like a terrible mood, um, like if I, not terrible mood, like I'm cranky. But if I'm like you know, sometimes you're like yeah. I don't know. Sometimes you're like really I don't know anxious or whatever, and you got to go on stage and you got to kind of coach yourself through the first few songs. Or sometimes, oh, it, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, right. I find that it's a lot of like in the first few songs, it's a lot of coaching myself through and being like. I actually have like a kind of like a thing I got from a Buddhist podcast that I say to myself. Oh, what, can, can you tell us what you Sure, say? I, in the beginning, if I'm like feeling really anxious, I'll kind of say like, walk with who you are. Oh, wow. Oh, I, I love know, that. I don't, I, yeah, it might be like a lot to, to say, but I, I just no, like. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, cause and it that's just, what you repeat in your head and that kind of. Yeah, cause it keeps me kind of being like, aside from everything, just like walk with like your sense of, who you are as a person, like the things like nobody can take away from you. And I feel like, I don't know, for some reason oh that, gosh, it's so beautiful. For, it, it gives me like a sense of confidence, you know? And that confidence, I think watching you is like a sense of relaxation. Like I belong here. It's like, yeah, I'm totally. so relaxed on stage. I'm relaxed totally. in my music and my craft. And that shines totally. through. That is like that practice of like, walk with who you, like just like, walk with who you are, I love that. You are. Yeah. 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 And this show is also interesting. It's a, it's a festival of headliners. And yeah. so the sets are like some of your best hits, fan favorites. I'm curious it's to you, so how, true. how do you craft the set list for something like this? It's really fun. It's fun because I mean, at first it was kind of like, no, we're letting go of this song. We're letting, you know, like Dream Girls or My Oh My or whatever. Like, I don't know, like different songs that you're attached to that are maybe like in my kind of fan base, they love it, but maybe the wider, I don't know, people watching on Hulu or people, they're like, I don't know, maybe not as mainstream recognized. So you kind of like yeah. have to really um, pare it down to the ones that you think like people will know the most. Will know is, and love, yeah. Yeah, so it's 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 really fun because it's just kind of like nonstop, nonstop bangers. Let's go, so, there's so many good ones. <laughs> yeah, so it was really fun. It was really, really fun. I love that. Speaking of performances, I've got to ask you about your VMAs performance. Godspeed, yes. incredible. Thank you, That was a, that was a good day. Yeah, tell me about the day. Well, it was like a, it felt like just like a, a victorious day. Like mm. it just felt like, you know, it kind of was like like a walk with who you are moment. Like I was just like, you know what, like, just really being vulnerable and and truthful mm. and kind of standing in like my integrity. It just felt like it felt cool to, that it. I don't know. I feel like that was kind of like appreciate it in a moment. cool way. What's the significance of that song for you too? It honestly changes um, depending on what time in my life I'm in, but it almost feels like it's like the gift that keeps on giving. Mm -hmm. Like it just feels like I, if I sang that two months ago, I would have been singing about a a, totally different, a, oh, this situation. And if I sang yeah. it, you know, two weeks ago, I would be singing about a different situation. But yeah, to me, it just feels like any situation relationship person that feels like is like harmful or trying to harm mm -hmm. you or yeah it's really just like people that feel like they're like I don't know like kind of 
trying to hurt trying to hurt me. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it felt like you know a release I mean? on stage. And by the yeah. way, like not only the performance, but I love seeing on the internet the next day so many people had the moment of you smashing the computer. I know. Which took over. I, which actually, I was obsessed with. I was gonna say, what was your reaction? Was it like a Mimi thing? Yes, but in a great I love way. That. No, in I a love great that. way. I love that. That's so I didn't even think about that, but I was like, yeah, that is like such a there's so many times where I'm just like <laughs> Ah, like you just want to like throw you. Was it a real computer? computer? It was a real computer. <laughs> I actually felt so bad about that because I was like, oh, I was so like, I was like, wow. I hate that that's a real computer. But, but was that hard to smash? Yes, it was. Um, it was a Mac. I was like, that's a, that's a workout. I know, but it was the only because in the beginning, like you see the the ju the June gloom, like the beginning, right. and that was the only way you could. You had to, I had oh, to pause right. it. Yes. So we were like, we could have like you know a cheap computer that's like. 20 bucks or whatever, but it's like, then you can't play the thing. So it was a real, like, but you know, it was worth it. It was worth it for the moment and for all of us. It was just one. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Let's also talk about Vegas for a second. Yes. Uh, do you, you come to Vegas often? Have you? Do you come here often? <laughs> do you come to Vegas often? No. Sit on my velvet couch. <laughs> I know. No, I don't. I honestly don't. Yeah. Do you? You know what we come every year and this is, it's a really fun show because I feel like this crowd is different. How would you describe playing to a Vegas crowd? I felt like this crowd was so lovely. Like yeah. they were like all standing up. Like I think when you come to a festival, you're always kind of like, you know, there's so many different, like people come to see different people and it's totally fair if you know, you have like a group of people that are your fans and the rest of the people are kind of just like chilling, waiting for like the person that they like. But everybody was just like so kind and like, I feel like they were just eager to have a good time. And yeah, yeah it was just like, I felt really, I felt really loved. Oh, that's so great. I love to hear that. Yeah. This it is was, a good crowd. Yeah. It's a really great crowd. And, and is, yeah, I was gonna say, is there anyone else that you're excited to see backstage that ooh, you met? Let me, <laughs> I know, I was gonna say, you know, we've got it. <laughs> um, I saw Gwen, which you was saw so Gwen. fun. You saw Gwen, yes. Um, I love Shibuzi. Oh, love. I love Paramore. Yep. I love Dua, I just saw her backstage. Oh. Um, I always find myself like, every time I see a, like, I hope that I see the picture of her and I, and I don't look like stupid. Cause I find myself <laughs> like posing so weird when I'm like, just like hug her so tight. And I'm like, man, I'm like short. So it like, feel like I just look like, it's I don't so know, like a weird, like I look like her like, I don't know, like but you know president of her like, fan club. I'm like, <laughs> you know what's funny is we had her in here earlier and something about her is so warm and inviting that you do lean in and you hug you her. You do. And it's so funny. It's so has the, the best photos, the best hugs. She totally does. I, I hope I look like still cute and hot in that Oh picture. my God, you look amazing. They I can't wait to see it. literally just like hug her so tight. I'm like, why are you dumb? Why do you do that? Anyway, I love, it. I love Big Sean. I love yes. his last album. I love Victoria Monet. Love. I'm obsessed with her music. I love Chris Martin. I love Hozier Forest Daddy. <laughs> I love, um, I love Halsey. I love Doja Cat. And yes. I love the weekend. I really so, like. So this is the perfect festival for you then. Yeah, I really, I really like a lot of people here. It makes me so happy. Well, we love having you here. Last question before you go the is: best. outside of music, what is bringing you the most joy in your life right now? I love this question. Oh, okay. I've been watching a lot of Veep. Veep is the best. Yeah. Julie Louis Dreyfus is Julie unbelievable. Dre That's been bringing me. So much joy, like I love it. Also, and you never watched it before. This is never the first time. It. Oh, what a treat! So, like, start from the beginning. It's, the it's best. so good. I also like. I love Sally Rooney. Yes, and she has a new book that's coming out in a few oh, days. Oh, does she? Oh, I didn't know this. Okay, yeah, it's called it. Intermezzo. Okay, it sounds like I'm like being paid to say this. I'm not, but it comes out <laughs> like in a few days, and I'm like, oh my god, like that's gonna be my treat for that. I want to go to the bookstore and yes. I want to just like for five hours, just like read her book. So between Veep and Sally Rooney, like that is like the ultimate, that's the dream. Yeah, it's the best time. So I love it. Yeah, and also and also matcha's bringing me a lot of joy. Ooh. I'm switching from coffee to matcha. Really? Yeah, because caffeine, like I'll, I love drinking coffee, but then sometimes like I'll be like, I, I'm gonna pass out. It's like really weird. But I feel like once I stop drinking coffee, I'm like, I need to drink it. Like, I feel like I can't get off caffeine. I know, but that's why I, I that's <laughs> why I'm doing matcha. That's okay, why. let me know how that goes. I need to hear about the Sally book, the matcha. Yes. And what you think of the end of the year. Yes, yes. And, so also fa and also fashion is bringing me a lot of joy. I was gonna say, you look amazing. Thank you, I've been like really getting into like, the fashion. And I love the hair, by the way. Thank you. I love this new era of hair. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. It's been Good. a lot of hair arrows this year. <laughs> a lot of hair arrows. My hair is having whiplash for sure. She's like, what, what the <laughs> fuck is next? But I feel like it matches the fashion moment. 
like the hands, thank you. Like, yeah. you're leaning in. Like got to, right? You're you attached to. to the classroom moment. Oh my God, thank you. I have so many extensions in though, so it's, well, yeah. but you know, it's, that's it's, life. Yeah, that's like, that's our life, for sure. <laughs> Anyways, we love you so much. Love We're you. so happy that you're here. Can we go up one more time for Camila <laughs> Kibay? <laughs>